it's the Macintosh guide and I'm back again with another unboxing video now this week we've got a bit of a a sad one in all honesty um, as you guys probably heard the Nintendo eShop has closed down for the Nintendo DS and the Nintendo Wii and I wasn't ever I was never really a big fan of the Nintendo Wii however I always admired the Nintendo 3DS and I've finally been able to grab one earlier this week. So I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing video of my Nintendo 3DS XL and yeah, well, let's just see what we got. Now guys, what you can probably tell is in the box we've got the Nintendo 3DS XL. So this is the new Nintendo 3DS XL. We've got two games, we've got Pokemon Moon and we have also got Fire Emblem Fates Birthright as well. So I actually didn't ask for these. They just came randomly. The seller actually didn't mention anything about these. So really awesome to be getting two games with it. Um, and we also got the charger. So let me just unwrap the 3DS for you guys. And then we will get straight into uh, having a look how it is. One thing guys, I can definitely say that the packaging was actually well done. Um, there were seller tapes on the packaging, which I obviously did remove. Uh, but yeah, it was nice and securely packaged. So I was quite happy about that. Usually sometimes people just put it in a box and just call it a day. So yeah, quite nice and happy about that. But that's the Nintendo 3DS XL, the new one. Um, let's just have a look at the back. So as you could probably tell, Nintendo, new Nintendo 3DS. There are some scuff marks here and there, guys, as you could probably tell. Um, but nothing in terms of like major. The screen, the, the front is actually immaculate in all honesty. If we open up the 3DS, we can see that it is actually quite nice and clean. There's no marks anywhere, which is pretty good. Um, this is just a little bit of dust that was inside the screen protector, so yeah, quite nice uh, about that. Um, and if we just have a look at the games, so if we see Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, everything seems to be in here, all the manuals and stuff. Let's just get the cartridge out. Um, as you guys can probably tell in the, from the video, I don't think the video is being very clear or not, but yeah, it seems to be quite immaculate. And if we also check the Nintendo 3DS Pokemon Moon, there you go. There's another pretty immaculate conditioned game as well. So let's just get the console booted up. Let me set the console up for you guys this time. Um, and yeah, let's just boot it up and see how it is. And guys, I thought I'd just do a bit of a close up another time. Um, just to show you guys how the condition is of the console. So as you can tell, there's semi minor scuffs here, but that was already mentioned in the listing. Um, yeah, just get some bits and bobs of itch and scratches, nothing major. Um, if we switch it around until the front panel is just absolutely spotless. Um, so yeah, quite, quite happy with this one. Um, if we open it up, probably tell from the bottom one nothing at all it's all it's all clean as a whistle no scratches seen on here and then just the top display as well nothing as mentioned it's just a air bubble here um, but again screen seems to be absolutely immaculate so if we just boot the machine so I've already set the machine up so I already know it's going to take us to the home screen um, yeah, you can tell you can see the 3D toggle here as well on the on the right side, the volume slider right here, and yeah, it's already it seems to be working absolutely fine. So let's just see if I can show you guys a better view. Um, everything seems to be working absolutely well. It did ask me for a update for the system, um, which I did do. So let's just see if we click on open. Does the eShop even open up or is it going to give us an error message? Because the, the, the holy grail of the eShop is now shut down officially. Um, so yeah, let's just see if this works. Welcome to Nintendo eShop, the service provider up to date. Probably would have been better if I used the stylus, but it is what it is. 
Inaptual. Okay. Preparing to ready. Interesting. I can access the eShop, but I presume I can't buy anything. Yeah, software currently. I don't believe I can buy anything, so that seems to be correct. Um, let's just press home and just close that. Yep, saving data, closing. So yeah, as you can tell, the, the actual screens itself, guys, are immaculate. Now, if I turn the 3D option on, can you see the difference in terms of the the screen? Let me just put this down so you can see on the on the front screen. So if you look on some of the icons, you can see that it's gone a bit 3D-ish. Um, the Nintendo eShop is a bit more noticeable. If I turn it off, you can see it's gone normal 2D. And then it changes a bit to a 3D. It's more noticeable off camera, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It's so noticeable and off camera. But yeah, that's the the 3D thing. I actually turned that off straight away because it gave me a headache of just owning it for a couple of minutes. Um, but yeah, let's try out the games um, and see if they work. So I've now got the copy of Pokemon Moon out from the box. If we clip it in. The console should. There you go. So it's recognizing the games. Open. And let's just see while it is uh, loading up. So you guys can probably see me. Hi, guys. Um, and there you go. I've, I want to keep the volume off. Just don't know in terms of any copyright stuff comes up or not. Um, but it seems to be working, yeah, sure. I feel like someone, someone save already in the game. And boom, we're already in. Let's see if we can see any of the 3D stuff. I feel like you only see 3D on this game when the Pokemon fights are going on. Um, but yeah, guys, it, it, yeah, this Pokemon Moon, it, it's working absolutely fine. So I'm happy with that. Let's just quickly try Fire Emblem. He, what, what is it? Yeah, Fire Emblem Fates, see how that works as well. And now we have our copy of Fire Emblem Birthright. So let's just put that into the console again. Turn the console on. Boom. Let's just tap on it. And just see how that goes. But guys, so far I've actually enjoyed owning this 3DS. Um, I feel like it's actually quite good. Um, Currently the 3D mode is on, so you probably see the picture being very weird. Turn 3D off and immediately it's <laughs> improved the picture back to the, the normal standard. So yeah, if I just press start and skip over this stuff, press any button. Sure, let's just continue in this person save. Uh, yeah, sure. Cool, whatever. And let's just see if we can exit, yeah. Oh, I guess I did the wrong, oh, there you go. So, there you go, Fire Emblem seems to be working absolutely fine as well. I don't see any issues, let's just see if we can activate the 3D. Oh, yeah, that 3D is definitely something, all right, that's for sure, in terms of the features. Um, I've never actually played Fire Emblem. So yeah, it's the first time I've actually seen this game, but I'm, let me just turn this off because the camera seems to be freaking out. Um, but yeah, guys, the, the game seems to be working fine. Um, this console isn't banned or anything as well. I was able to check that. The console isn't banned. It seems to be working absolutely normal as well. Um, yeah, that's so So we know that the games are, the games are functioning. So guys... So after just doing a quick unboxing on this Nintendo 3DS XL, a um, couple of information. This this does have a SD card in it, a micro SD card. It is four gigabytes. I have ordered a bigger SD card uh, to put into this Nintendo 3DS XL. Um, also, my plan with this 3DS XL is going to be homebrewing it, um, as you can do more things with homebrew 
um, play games, which were never, which actually never came out on the 3DS XL, um, and be able to play those. So actually, I will be doing a follow-up video to this one later down in line um, to show you guys the homebrew stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, this was just a very quick video about the 3DS XL. Rest in peace to the Nintendo eShop, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.